Hello, it's lovely to be with you and it's even lovelier to be with Dr. Sandra Darby, who many of you know, parishioner for so long and also a former colleague, well, still a colleague, because of her present job. So welcome, Sandra. Thank Maybe you can just say a little bit about yourself to the community. Well, I'm just, uh, St. Teresa's has been part of my life for many, many years, and it's so lovely to still be here as a, a catechist in the RCIA and, and to just help wherever I can. I'm a lector and um, just uh, am so enjoying being back in the church and in this the beautiful renovated church, too. I remember, I think it was Easter Sunday, you sent me an email, and it was a picture of uh, an Easter scene in your own home. At that time, you were watching Mass every Sunday from the, um, from the confines of your own home. Yes. And I was wondering how that could be helpful to our parishioners as they try to get grounded week after week and uh, celebrating with us, but obviously at a safe distance. You know, when Holy Week was coming up, I was um, so distraught that we weren't going to be able to be in church. And uh, on um, Passion Sunday, I was sitting, listening, you know, to Mass. Um, and I thought, you know, I can pull some things out of my garden and bring those in, some greenery. And, and uh, bit by bit, throughout that whole week, I started to change the environment. And my coffee, ha my coffee table really became uh, my own little altar. And uh, I found it so both comforting, uh, but also inviting to be able to match the environment that was in church um, at, in my own home. And um, just this past weekend, or two weekends ago, for the um, celebration of the Feast of Christ the King, I wasn't able to be here because I, I was dealing with some allergy things. So I thought I'll just stay home. And uh, I was, uh, you know, standing as we stood and singing when we sang, and our communion song that day, which we've sung several times, let this be a house of prayer. Um, but it, you know, it, it repeats over and over, let this be a house of prayer. You know, a font of God's love overflowing, a holy ground where all find welcome, a temple of the Holy Spirit, a refuge in a time of trouble. Anyway, we're singing this and I'm singing, let this be a house of prayer, let this be a house of prayer. And I realized that I was talking about my house as well. And um, that, our homes, my home, is an extension of what it is that we do here on Sundays. And it gave me a very different sense. I mean, I live by myself, so it would be easy for me not to do anything if I didn't want to as far as decorating for the season or, or having something at home that would remind me of this place here. But I realized how important it was um, to make that connection. And so now I'm very deliberately using my coffee table uh, really as my, my prayer space and, uh, and letting it be. It's where my Advent wreath is right now. And uh, um, it's just given me a very different sense of, of what it is that we do when we go out from this place um, and who we become for others. So uh, I've just found it very enriching for me. That's beautiful, and it certainly is the domestic church. Yes. And so, Advent happens in this hemisphere at the darkest time of the year. And we have Advent candles, purple. And of course, for Christmas, we'll have white candles. But there's an opportunity also to, to change, as yes. Dr. Darby has described, with the changing of the season. Yes. And let this be a house of prayer, which Stephen shared introduced it to us. So yes. Your homes, as you so beautifully put it, are homes, places of prayer. So continue doing what you're doing, and I hope operations learn from that and, and build on that so that there can be an ever deeper connection between all of us because we are so intimately connected. And you know, and one of the things that we did that um, was encouraged was for us to send in pictures of our of our Easter celebrations. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. And uh, it would be lovely if we could continue that. Yeah. You know, how are we continuing to celebrate these seasons, um, you know, uh, at home? <laughs>
I did get one lovely picture of a family celebrating Mass and uh, with the Mass going on on their television screen and another man whose baby at that time holding him up, looking at <laughs> the, the, the church where he was baptized. That's a great idea and a great invitation. So we deepen and don't lose contact with each other at the time when we most need each other. So please send them in. They'll be treasured and shared. And enjoy your Advent journey. And thank you, Sandra, so much. Thank always you. always offering and contributing so generously and creatively. Please like, subscribe or comment below.